All right, good. So, so we have already gone through our tools list for our um, our design. Now we are going to go through the material list. So I already spoke about the having the earth rod. So in case there is a fault on any of these circuits, whether it is the plug circuit or the light circuit, in order for that fault to be dissipated to earth, you must have an earth rod, which is why you need this. How much is needed? Just one. All you need is just one that is connected to your main distribution panel here. Now, electrical tape, right, so this goes without saying in case um, in case of any any need for it, whether in the in the um, the plug socket or the the or the light socket, you'll find the, the, the need for that from time to time. And what you'll find also is that um, not every job you will really need an electrical tape. Because for this basic simple installation you might not need more than just a little probably a, um, a foot or two and the tape has many feet on it, right? So, electrical pipes. Where are the electrical pipes used? So these electrical pipes, as we said earlier, that the, the, um, the installation itself will be done um, flush. So nothing will be surfaced as we have it here, but everything will be in the wall. Now, for, for it to be in the wall, it means that these cables must go into different conduits, right? So based on this particular design, so going to this which you only have one, two, three, three wires, alive and neutral under earth. So for this setup then, what we would use is the basic, the most, um, the smallest size electrical pipe that, that there is. So what I would use here is really, um, is really, 20 mm conduit 20 mm conduit right so now come in different sizes and we look at look at the different sizes in 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 in, in future lessons though we did mention them sometime before so we have 20 mm 25 mm 32 mm you remember those right right we did talk about them sometime before now as it relates to the quantity we can actually do an estimate based on this design so the room is basically a, a big room 20 feet by 18 feet right 20 feet by 18 feet and you remember what length each electrical pipes co pipe comes in 10 feet length so all electrical conduits 10 feet length Right? We're talking about water pipe now, it's those coming like um, 19 feet, 19 point something feet. But for electrical conduit, they are 10 feet. Now, this is full 20 feet. So basically, to do the plug circuit, I am going to need um, two lengths of pipe from here to here. No, I'm going to put the three wires bunched together in, in the pipe. Right? So it's not a wire per pipe per se, but all three wires will be bunched together. So you have um, two lengths of pipe here, and if I need another, so you need two here, if I need an next two here, and you're going to need another two here. Why? Because if this is 20 feet, where the plug goes in the middle, I mean this is 10 feet. So this is one length of pipe by itself so far. So though you, 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 um, you, you might cut it um, shorter here, but you're still going to need more than one following good so you need two four six right for the light circuit you're going to need um one from here to here to the switch so that's one here and, and, and going across you're going to need a further two right so this is two four six eight nine so i need ten lengths here oh and you're going to need one for the earthing as well, to lead from this down to earth. And usually the earthing would go somewhere on the outside, so you need a pipe for that as well. So instead of taking 10, I am going to say, you know what, I need 13 lengths, I'm adding two lengths to it. 13 lengths of pipes. Following? Good. 
No, 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 two represent 20 feet, right? No, two represent 20 feet because it's a quantity two. So we need two length, LG, length. Follow it? From ear to ear, from ear to ear, and from ear to ear. So this is 20 and 20, 40 and 20 makes 60. And next 20 make how much? 80. And then I'm going to need an next um, 10 writers to make 90. And I'm going to need an next 10 writers to make 100. Follow it? Good. So I'm taking 13 lengths. I'm at the next 30 feet because you might have to turn up and turn down. Right? We are together? Clear somewhere? Yeah, Right, but think about your room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where your switches and where your plug is and where your electrical panel is. You can ask for that question if you want as we, as we go on. No. So that's it for the, for, the, for the can you. Let me delete these. All right. So no, let's talk about the, the, um, the meter socket. How many meter sockets we going to want? We just need one meter socket. And how oh, 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 and oh, oh are the meter socket size? They're coming on 100 amp or 200 amp. So they come in 100 amp or 200 amp and the phase would be single phase. Right, so as we discussed some time before that three phase setup is really not for um is not used predominantly in residential application. So we are using a um a single phase panel. And how many lines does the single phase panel has? You have line one which is live, and you have line two which is live, and you have a neutral. One of our earlier class we talked about these. You have follow all in. So this is this is what we need, a single face panel. Single face panel because mostly for residential application, three face setup is not used. Sorry? Okay, all right. So we can discuss it. Um, having to do with the different power networks. Having to do with different power networks. So, 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 um, so we're really using a single phase, um, single phase meter socket. And I take the hundred amp because most times we're going to work out the demand based on what you have here and what will be placed inside this, inside this particular um room but an hundred amp is more than sufficient a matter of fact even some of the the very large houses that um that has acs and um jacuzzis and and and, um, and electric eater most of them still does not come with a hundred amp main right so what you do in you do in your sizing you have to ensure that this socket is less than or equal to the main breaker size main breaker in panel follow so the size meter socket that you decide to use the size in terms of the amperage must be mistake here it must be greater than or equal to the main breaker size in your panel socket. for the size meter socket. Why? It must be greater. It must be greater or equal to the main breaker size in your panel here. Make sense? Why? Because because you you don't want a case where you are pulling a hundred and twenty amps in here, in from your distribution panel here. And your meter socket is rated at 100 amp. What's going to happen over time to the meter socket? The temperature is going to increase. And once the temperature increases, you're going to have the insulation breaking down. And you know that's a fire hazard. 
So any size meter socket that you choose, it must be greater than or equal to the main breaker inside of your panel. Good? Now let's talk about the, um, so, so that is for the meter socket. We need a 100 meter socket and, and it has to be single phase. Good? The other thing we want to talk about, the, let's talk about the breaker panel. For the breaker panel, first up you need a main breaker. So that's, and the main breaker would have two poles, would have to be two poles. So your main breaker now, so you need two, two poles for your main, right? For your light circuit, you need a, a breaker for it by itself. Standard based on our regulation, based on the JS21 standard, which I sent in the group earlier. For light circuits, what you use is 15 amp breaker. I can comment based on the brand. Usually, Siemens is a good brand. Um, Moray is a good brand. So it depends on the brand um, most times. Right? So, so you have the breaker here. So you use a 15 amp breaker for a light circuit. Take note of this. 15 amp breaker for a light circuit. And seeing that, and this is single pole, so I need one slot for this. For this, I need two slots in the panel. Right? Now, the other thing is. Light switch or light circuit? Light circuit, 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 circuit. No, so I need one, I need one, one, one light circuit for this one lamp that is inside the, uh, in, that is inside the, the room. Right? I also need one circuit for the plug sockets that are in the room. I need one circuit for the plug sockets also. But for plug circuits, what you use is 20 amp breaker. Right? That's it for plug circuit. You need a 20 amp breaker. together all right good now so for any circuit any plug circuit that you are running standard plug circuit where you plug your fridge and your um and your tv and your fan into this is the size breaker that is needed and it has the corresponding size wire so as we go down to the wire we are, go, we are, we are, we are going to decide on that you yeah, follow me good so so now so the total number of sockets of slots that I need for the panel is really what? Two, one, and one. That make how much? Three. Two, oh, one, oh, oh, one. Sorry. Make sorry. four, right? So for example, you want to do a little expansion down the line. You want oh, to add some so more to it. That's a four separate breaker up there. These are four yeah. slots. These are four slots. four slots. The main will take up two of that slot. Yeah. The, 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 the light circuit will take up one of the slots and the plug circuit will also take up one slot. So that's four slots. Now, the breaker panel, they are usually, um, they come in standard sizes. So you have four way, which is not so popular nowadays, personally I'm not using that anymore. You have eight way, which some persons still use. You have 12 way, you have 16 way, and so on, right? So in this case, I would get an eight way breaker panel. Seeing that four of the slots will be used, I want to have an additional four slots in case, in case the customer wants to do any expansion. Fair enough? Good. So I want an eight-way panel. So I'm going to put my eight-way here. Eight-way. And the electrical store is going to ask how much phase. And you want it to go on. Single phase, as with the meter socket. Follow? You need an eight-way breaker panel, and you need it to be single phase, similar to the meter socket. Yes, so we want to leave extra. Persons are always expanding. So you want to have um, make provision in case 
um, any other circuit is added um, down the line, even though it's a one room. Right, so let's talk about the switch. We can move on? Yes. Good, let's talk about the switch. So we need basically one switch. And that, that's a given, so we need one single pole switch. So it's single pole, and, um, and they are usually rated at 15 now. Which is why the breaker for the switch cannot be more than 15 amp. Right? Because the switch is rated at 15 amp. So if you have a breaker that is that is 20 amp and and the load, say for example, the, 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 the lamp fixture is using more than this amount, it will pass through the switch, through the switch and the switch will automatically burn. Right? So what? So the breaker limit that. So if, it, if in case that any of the light load is using more than 15 amp, the breaker will trip. Following? Breaker will trip. Now, one other important point I need to, probably this, this can be a, um, an, an homework. Find out for me for our next meeting, how many lamp or light, or light can be placed on any single light circuit. How many lamps can be installed on any single light circuit? And do the same thing for the plug. How many plugs can I put on, a, on one single plug circuit? Two things. I want you to find, though, find out those for me. How many can be installed on one single on plug? On one single circuit, light circuit. And how many plugs can be installed on one single plug circuit? One single circuit? Yes. It's a given. Yes. So it's a given. As it relates to the number of plugs that is needed, you count them all. So that's one, two, three plugs. I will call them duplex receptacles. Now for the wire, based on the chart that I shared in, in, in our previous class, for the plug circuit, the wire that will be needed is 2.5 mm. Right? So 2.5 mm is really the 20 amp. So that's why you need the 2.5 mm right here. The same wire that we were looking at, right? 2.5 mm for the plug circuit. For the light circuit, and let's put it like this minimum 2.5 mm for the plug circuit. For the light circuit, it is minimum 1.5 mm, and that is based on the chart that we discussed some time before. I will send a copy in the group. But if we check the, the JS21 document that I sent in the group, it is also there. So you can control and you realize that. The, that they give it the different size wires for the different amperage or the different circuits. Following? Good. So that's it for the wire. So for the main, no, we'd have to decide what, what um what size main we, 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 we use here. But for um for argument's sake no, I probably can explain next next week when we when we do our um our demand. For now I am going to use a 40 amp main. So I need a 40 amp double pole breaker. And 40 amp main really means that the matching size for the 40 amp is really 6 mm. So we need some 6 mm wires for the main because we're using a 40 amp double pole breaker for the main. We'll elaborate on this a bit um, more in our next sitting. Right? We already talked about our breaker. And the box. How many and the boxes we need? Three. We need three. So we need one for this plug here, one for this plug here, and the next for this plug here, right? CPUs. Right? Right? And how many um, octagonal box we want? One. We need one octagonal box. Right, so there's a, another and the box is needed for the switch. The switch cannot go in the wall by itself. So we need four four and the box and one octagonal box for your light circuit here. And plug covers. How many plug covers? Exactly, plug covers, and we're missing a switch cover as well. I will call it switch plate. So you need one switch plate. All right, so I think that's where we stop for now. Um, I'm going to share the video, and then we can, um, and then we'll continue next week. Not next week, but at our next sitting. Sorry?